Hi everyone, I'm Catherine with Gracie Designs and this is Mornings with Gracie. Well, fall has arrived, so today we're going to be making some knitted boot cuffs. They're fun, they're easy, and they're very fashionable. I hope you'll join me today on Mornings with Gracie. So to make the boot cuffs, I have um, the supplies here. Not too many. We have yarn. I have pink and I have rust. It's four ply worsted weight yarn. This is a tweed color. I have size um, eight needles, a row counter, a scissor, and a darning needle to finish the ends. So to get started, we're going to cast on we're going to make 40 stitches and you always have to leave a tail when you cast on because you're going to be using this yarn um, as well to make these stitches so maybe about two feet for 40 stitches I'm using size 8 needles and first I'm going to make a slip knot and that will be considered our first stitch and I will put that on the needle and pull it snug. So now we have the two threads here, as you can see. Get that out of there. And we will begin to cast on. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Put your fingers in between the two threads, pull it out, and then lift your hand up. So you're holding that yarn between your um, ring finger and your pinky and your thumb and your index finger are holding the yarn that you're going to be wrapping around the needle. So we're going to go here and then here, and then we're going to pull it tight onto that needle. Again, fingers in and up, yarn around the needle here, and yarn around the needle here, and then come back through that hole and pull it snug. We now have three stitches. And again, we're going to make 40. Round, round, and back through, and pull snug. Don't pull it too tight. You want it to be able to slide. Okay, so we have our 40 stitches, and now we're going to start our pattern, which is going to be knit two, purl two. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Before we start knitting, I'm going to cut the tail a little shorter because we don't want to knit with that by mistake, and it gets in the way. Okay, so you if you're right-handed, you'll put the needle in the left hand and you'll take your other needle and you'll go into the first stitch and then you'll take your yarn and you'll wrap it around the back needle and then bring that needle down through the stitch and then you will take it off the needle. that again and through wrap it around come back down take that yarn and then take it off the needle now for a purl you're going to put the yarn in the front you're going to go down into the stitch and then you're going to wrap the yarn over it like that pull it up through the stitch and take it off. Again, yarn in the front, down through the stitch, push down the yarn, come back through, and then off. So now we have two knits and two purls. Now the yarn is back behind the needle. And we're going to go under to the back, wrap that yarn around, bring it back down, Take off that stitch again, 
through to the back, wrap the yarn, come back down for the stitch. Now we go forward for the purl, down, wrap around that way, down, down, wrap it around, and through, and we'll do this for the entire row. And there we have our first row. And you'll start to see that there's a ribbed look once we do a couple more rows. And that'll um, give an, sort of an elastic touch to it. If you need more instructions on knitting or purling, I also have a knit, learn to knit, um, video and learn how to purl video. Don't forget to use your counter or if you don't have a counter you can write it down so you know how many rows um, you're on. So we're going to start our next row and I don't know if you can see but there's um, a way to tell if it's a knit or a purl stitch you're going to be doing. The first two look like little bees and they the second the next two stitches look like little knobs or little bumps. So these are the knit and these are the purl. And it kind of helps if you um, to put your work down for a minute so you know what stitch you're working on and um, you can go back to it without forgetting what kind of stitch you were doing at that time. So here's two V's, so I'm going to do two knits. And then you have these little knobbies here, and that'll be two pearls. Okay. Two knits. Well, now I'm going to work on this, and I'm going to do 11 rows, and then I'll be back to um, show you how to change colors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so I have completed 11 rows, and now I want to start with the brown. And this is how I like to change colors. I take the new yarn that I'm going to use, and I tie it onto the thread that I already have connected. And I slide that knot down as close as I can to that first stitch, tighten it up, and then I tie the first color and the second color together, pull that tight, then I cut, I usually like to leave a little tail there first color and I just pick up the new color and begin knitting. Yarn over, take it off, knit, and then I'm still on doing my pattern. As you see, we have like a two two by two rib going on and that's going to give it that stretch that we need for our boot cover. So now we've started the second color and I will be back again to show you how I cast off when we're finished. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so finished 11 rows of the brown and now we need to cast off. So to cast the way I cast off, I knit two together on the knit stitch and I take that off and try to keep it loose and then I put that stitch back on the needle. 
Now, since the next stitch is a purl, I'm going to go through two stitches and purl the next stitch. So I don't know how to wrap this myself. Hold on a second. The yarn in front. There's going to be yarn in front, and then purl the two stitches. Take it off, and then put that stitch back on. Now we still have another purl. That's the next stitch, so we're going to do it again. Go through two stitches and purl. And then we're going to put that stitch back on. Do this very loosely so it stays with that elastic feel. So now we're going to knit because the next stitch is a knit. Knit two together, take it off, put it back. Got a knit, so we're going to knit two together. Take it off and put it back on. The next stitch is a purl stitch. Remember the little bumps. Show you that it's a purl stitch. So we're going to purl the next two. First, we've got to put that yarn in front. Purl the next two. Take that off. Yarn back on, yarn in the front, purl again, put that stitch on. Now we have a knit, so we're going to knit two together. Put that on, knit. So basically, you're knitting two and purling two only with the cast off of all the stitches. And a purl in front. There's one purl in front. Two purl. on and knit two together and cast off the next stitch put it back on knit we're doing that right knit put that stitch back on then we're gonna purl so go to the front and I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be back after I finish casting off all the stitches. So I finished casting off. And as you see, it's got an elastic feel to it. Because I did it nice and loose. And I also used the Knit Pearl Cast Off stitch. So next, we're going to... So the seam, and then before you know it, we'll have both our boot cuffs. I have my needle. I'm going to thread it, and then we're just going to do like an overlock stitch here. Go right over and around. So you can see that I'm doing here. I'll use the brown for the brown, or use pink for the pink. And then we will, of course, hide these tails and it will be finished. And right now I'm going to hide the brown tail as I'm finishing up here. Just go through my stitched bullet. Cut that edge. Take that off. And I have this pink piece, which I'm going to thread in 
going to my needle. Same thing, go over. Just at the edge. Again, oh, I could have redid this. I'm finding that it takes more time to redo these mistakes than to just go with it and continue. And then we have the other thread to hide. Put that one off. this string just kind of weave it through so you don't see it turn it Put one more here put that into the brown stitches tug okay we have our boot covers, which I'm going to show you how we're going to put these on the boots. And what's great about this one is that two colors. You can use the pink side or the brown side, but I'll show it to you inside the boot so you can see exactly how they look. So I have my boot. I'm going to show you how to put in the boot cover or cuff um call it what you like kind of call it like a cover covers the edge first we're going to do is put that inside and then fold it over you can make these in any color i like to do the two color because then it's like having two boot covers in one and there we have the brown side. And we can take that out and switch and put the brown side on the inside. Put the pink for showing. And these will stretch and fit pretty much different size boot tops, so just dress it up a little bit. And there you have it, your boot cover. Another way you can add the boot cover or cuff is to put it right over the boot without tucking it in and you have a whole new look. You can even bring it down further and make it kind of like a bracelet for the boot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and comment so I know you stopped by. Give it a like, share it with friends, and join me again on Mornings with Gracie.